when the moon bleeds? That's cluing into what we said before. Uh. Oh, excuse me. Was that a bit rough on the ears? Oh. Ah, you've done well climbing all the way up here. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Let's hear it. Oh. Excellent, without further ado. When the moon bleeds and the fields are reborn, the monks will invite you as they have sworn. But first you must stand on the pedestal bare with nothing between you and the night air. When the moon bleeds, I wonder what that means. May the light illuminate your path. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. When was the last blood moon? <laughs> Music reset. I'm sorry, is there just one rock here? That usually means something. Well, fine. <laughs> I mean, one part of this riddle's very easy. Who's a naked man? Yes, you are. I'm just doing weapons for the sake of it, I suppose. Can't really unequip bows. Haha! -ha! Only one small issue. When's the next blood moon? When was the last blood moon? Ah. Ah. <laughs> like, how am I gonna keep... How am I gonna keep track of Blood Moon? Unless you mean Sunset. Like, they can almost mean Sunset? Because that's when the... That's the sun, though. That's the sun that turns orange at Sunset. That's not super useful. Is my campfire still over here? Or is it gone? Campfire has despawned. I mean, I could try one thing, which is to camp here, perhaps. That's about it, though. If camping doesn't work, I may just have to come back at some point in the future. And just keep this place in mind. Because first I need a blood moon to happen, and then to figure out how far apart the blood moons are, and then try to time it based on when a blood moon has happened last, when the next one will happen, and so on. Morning, moon. I can do nighttime. Now it's at least nighttime, but it's not a blood moon. And the fire has extinguished, so I need to relight the fire over and over again if I want to do it that way. All right. All right, you got me, game. I'm gonna have to wait for that one, I think. Trial of Thunder. What? Oh, once four spirits are set in their proper places. Right. Right. That's still waiting to be done. So I have two... I have two riddles now for... These chambers. Is this one solved? I haven't been to that one yet? Oh. Oh, goodness me. That is unbecoming of me to not visit a shrine immediately. Alright, so... I'm gonna wait- I'm gonna wait on this one. I'm fairly convinced that I've solved this riddle, and that I'm supposed to be here during a blood moon, naked. And just stand there, and then it'll open up. I hope. But... I have... I mean, this is the beginning of a new session. Like, I don't even know when the last blood moon was, let alone when the next one will be, and I don't think... I don't think they're tracked on the calendar, or like on my dial. Like, I don't think I have a UI thing that tells me when the next Blood Moon will happen. I think it just, it just surprises me when it happens. So instead of waiting around, I'll wait for myself to get more information and get better at tracking Blood Moons and so on and so forth. I see you out there, Shrine. Don't want to forget about you. I spotted you, I probably spotted you like two episodes ago. Clear it, clear it. Yeah. Attaching value to things for no reason. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put my clothes back on. Do mountain climbing gear. And lightning pants. 
Then just some basic setups. Let's use the big the big one. Let that get worn down over time. Getting awfully close to Hyrule right now. Wouldn't want to piss off Ganon, would we? I mean, of course we would. Kind of lost line of sight for a bit there. Watch it turn into, like, Blood Moon, like, right now, just to spite me. Let's see. The moon's white at the moment. Hopefully, whenever it's nighttime, I can perhaps, like, stare directly at the moon and be like, oh, It's red! I haven't really looked at the- I haven't really looked at the moons so far, so I don't really know. I know that there's a cutscene of a red moon, but I don't know if the moon is red all day long. Yep, up, up until that cutscene or not. But if it is, then that's probably my best clue to do that shrine. Ooh, another- another house. Another entire area to unlock, basically. Yeah, based on that, I, uh, if, if I spot a red moon, I'll try to teleport back there immediately, hopefully, and see if we can do it then. But for now, we wait. Yep. Give me that glowy. Ah! Behind me. There we go. I think this stuff will despawn eventually, so I kind of want to hurry up and grab them each time. Okay. Nailed it. Come to think of it, though, I should put I should put it behind it. Oh, bad call! Wow, and it shielded the it shielded the blast. Just an all-around failure on every level that time. All right. Yeah, I'm just not nailing it right now. Let's just use the block the block one. I was impatient and was was waiting for the. Uh, Circle. I just tried to use the circle one because I didn't want to wait for the block one, but that clearly didn't work out. There we go. I figure I should be down slope because they probably will blast away from the explosion. Yes, Shrine, I hear you. <laughs> Why, Skellington? I've got things to do. Why must you interrupt my mining operation? The geology has to happen. There we go. So many luminous stones. I need to find a purpose for these things. I mean, wings are used as an armor upgrade, so I wouldn't be surprised if stones were too at some point. Let's just keep a quick eye out for any orange that isn't a tower. But I'm not seeing it. Some more of those guys. We see that sight a lot, don't we? Alright, let's get up there. Let me in, let me in. Not a combat trial, not a combat trial, not a combat trial, not a combat trial. Not a combat trial, not a combat trial, not a combat trial, not a combat trial, not a combat trial. Not a combat trial. Drawing parabolas. <laughs> Monyatoma Shrine. Hi. Okay. This won't take a minute just to piece together what I'm looking at. Okay, so this catapults that over there, that catapults over there. That also catapults back, so those two will loop back and forth, but this is a one-way. That leads to that one. But that thing can be hit. Does that rotate you? Oh. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? You can be rotated, but these ones can't be? But why would I So I don't see a reason to go that way. Let's see. You keep rotating. Okay, so I want to I want to ride these then. There we go. Oh mine. Thunderblade. Yay. <laughs> uh I mean, I guess I can throw away my current one, which I've probably used before. Yeah. That looks awesome. That looks awesome when you do that. Just gonna hold on to you. There we go.
Okay. So after that, I now want to go... That way. Oh, there's a ball over here. So now you'll launch them that way. And I just need to make the ball go through there, which means I just need to throw a bomb in here. Oh. Can't really see what I'm doing right now. There we go. Aha! Now the boxes are out of the way, so now I just need to throw... That's it, right? Let's see. You got a chest icon, so we're done with the chests. That's it. Alright. Pick up this ball, throw it in the thing, and it'll just take care of itself. Basically. Hey there. Go! It almost didn't make it, jeez. There we go, and that'll hold that'll land in the hole and open the door. I've done it. Congratulations, me. I am awesome. The end. Alright, let's get out of here. Number 37. We're coming up on one third completion. And it's only like episode 46. <laughs> This is going to be a very long series. And I'm not feeling any fatigue, really. Like, I am about this far in Horizon Zero Dawn, and... What else? Neo and Berseria. And in all those games' cases, I'm kind of like, alright, I'm about ready for these games to wrap up. Uh, and this one, though, I'm just like, nah, I feel like I'm just starting. <laughs> I, I, I look at the episode count for the series, and I'm completely baffled by how many episodes have happened. <laughs> I'm like, what did I do? <laughs> I don't feel like I've been playing that long at all. Like, that's over 25 hours in already. I can easily see how people are all like, yeah, I've played this game for like 200 hours. I'm like, okay. You know, if it stays this fun the whole time, I'll do 400 episodes. I don't give a crap. I'll just keep going. I mean, I already did like 200 episodes of Witcher 3. It's fine. If, it, if, it, if the game is good for as long as it is long, then that's great. The whole thing is whether or not a game is built to in a way, to, or, or paced in a way to sustain the thing that is its duration. But this game's working for me so far. And at this point, what's kind of funny is like now when I when I go visit Impa and do any actual progression, which will assuredly add mechanics to the game, because that's how Zelda games work. Uh, suddenly, those new mechanics will feel like. DLC for a game I've already finished, basically. Like, oh yeah, I've already- I, I know Zelda, I ran around and did stuff for like 25 hours, and then it's like, oh, new mechanics, it's like DLC, but I didn't pay for it. Except it was in the game the whole time. For the first time, I can kind of relate to when people are like, I played Skyrim for a hundred hours, and I didn't even learn how to Dragon Shout yet. Uh, I always thought that was stupid, because I'm like, but but Skyrim's a boring world, and how- and the most exciting thing is the part where you get to sh yell at people and make them fly around. But I also- even, af even after that, I quit Skyrim pretty quickly, because I'm like, I'm just bored of this- playing this game. Uh, so like, I never could relate to people saying that they just continued on- on without getting the basic mechanics and learning them. Uh, the, the ability to use them, but look at me. Are you asleep? Haha! <laughs> He's asleep. Everyone's asleep because it's nighttime here, but I, I'm amused by the, uh, I'm amused by the sight of, uh, Sleeping Beetle. Wow! Wow! You must really enjoy my company! What have you got? More arrows! No regrets, must buy all arrows. I'm totally okay with this. There we go. I don't think I need to sell anything right now. How's my arrow collection going? 92! Neat. Hi there. Hi. Oh my, this weather's dreadful. Nothing to do in the weather but stay here at Serene Stable and relax. That's probably why these Leviathan researchers are here at the stable. And because they totally have a thing for me. <laughs> oh, she's she's proud of herself, isn't she? Hey. I'm gonna go ahead and sleep. I don't really ever do this, but I'm gonna sleep. Let's try soft bed, just because. I'm gonna sleep until noon. I just want everyone to wake up so I can talk to them in case there's any, anything interesting before I leave. In this town I've stumbled upon. Ah. Yep, there's the soft bed. Bonus heart. 
Hope you enjoyed your stay. Have a great day. Everyone's awake now. And in a circle. But Beetle didn't have that courtesy. He's got to work for it. So he gets to wake up in the middle of the night. Well, it was, it was only 4.55. Ha-ha! 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 Sorry. The sound of a circle of people gibbering at each other with fake voice sounds is really funny to me. We're in search of Leviathan bones in order to determine the cause of their extinction, but we haven't any luck. We are resting here for now while we plan our next move. Yeah. We're in search of skeletons that will tell us why Leviathans went extinct, but we haven't found any yet. Hmm. Are you all saying the same... You're all saying the same... Okay. Yep. <laughs> Listen, writer, what I want you to do is you want you want you to write like two sentences, but then write synonymous sentences for three other so there's three characters that can say the same thing but not the same thing. <laughs> like phrase for phrase they were saying synonymous sentences. That was crazy. Ah <gasps> murder <laughs> There's no reason to do that. I'm just like <gasps> die living thing. I think it's time to go though. I wasn't really planning on going here, but I was like, well, there's a settlement. Let's take a look at the map. And there it is. God, I love the color scheming here. There's something to be noted. Like, re I went on a rant recently in, uh, in, uh, what's it called? Horizon Zero Dawn because of its super cluttered nightmare map where it's just white icons covering the entire screen to the point where you can't even see the map past it. This game has a really nice color scheme. Like, it, has, it it falls victim of the same thing as that game, where it doesn't filter icons. So, you're stuck with, like, blue... You're, all, you're stuck with, like, every single shrine being on the map simultaneously, and all these other things. And, like, it's, it is cluttered. But, the entire map is orange to hues. And then your manual place things are yellow hues, and the auto-generated uh, teleport locations are all, like, these neon blue. And then there's these faded brown square flat shapes that go up below the layer for the towns. So like you'll notice that all of the teleport spots are bright blue. They are on a layer that's higher than all of the like stables. So these are bigger icons that go behind them on the layer so that they overlap. It's so, like you, you can very quickly pick out so many details just looking at this thing. Like I never feel like I'm having to sort through that much clutter visually. Whereas when I play Horizon Zero Dawn and look at the map I'm like, ah! There's just 500 monster icons everywhere, and they're the same color as all the other icons, and at, at best, there's a slight difference between white and yellow icons, and that's the best that they could do, And but all the icons are way too big and take up too much space, and they're all, like, not very distinct and awkward, and the difference between these two maps is, like, severe. Alright. I'm going. I'm going. I swear. <laughs> that thing I was planning on doing episodes ago. I was serious too. I that time I was on the hill and I went and I went shield surfing down towards Impa's location. I was like, we're going to go to Impa. Then I got sidetracked cuz I fell down a side thing and avoided some monsters and then ended up in a thing and then I went on a whole sidetrack where I kept seeing more things to go after and I'm like, well, I want to do those things I see. And then I ended up cleaning up all the things I saw. And then the other one I was like, okay, let's go back to Impa. And again, like three or four episodes ago or something, and what happened is then I was like, oh, but I forgot to turn that one side quest, and then I went to turn the side quest in, and then I found more quests, and that led to another, like, oh, Cass is nearby again. Well, I've got to meet up with Cass, obviously. I prioritize Cass meetings, because they're clues about shrines, obviously. I can give you directions. I've, I've been here several times, dude. I would like to take a horse. Let's see. Champion is the speed horse, and I had to make him like me. Yeah. Alright, we'll get him for you. You left him alone in a storm on the other side of the world, but sure. We'll we'll be good we'll be good horse caretakers for you since you aren't. <laughs> hey champion. I need to make you love me now. Alright. Nope, nope. Soothing. Maybe. Here, this way. There we go. Now we're doing good. And I'm heading north. See, you're doing it good. Oh, no, no. We gotta cooperate. Whoa! I mean, I guess that was a fitting enough jump, sure. Is there a hole in the road? Oh, yeah. 
Someone attacking me? That's a bit not a good sound, is it? No, that's just the local. That's the local music. I like the song. Ah, uh, uh, okay. I know you want to fight me because we don't get along, but surely you would want to not run directly into a wall. That's like that's on you at some point. Uh. Hang on a second, champion. Oh, we haven't been here before. Oh my god, I see all these rocks on a bridge. That means I need to throw stuff into a hole. I'm on to you, game. But we've been here a long time ago. Oh man. Long enough to almost be nostalgic about it. Okay, I'm curious about the stump. I'll be right back. No, it's just a chopped tree. That's it. Thought there might be something significant about it. Yeah. Oh, there's actually a lot of herbs around here. I mean, I'd, re I'd be remiss not to pick them up. Aw, the cluster of three is only one plant. Bummer. It looks like such a bountiful supply, and it is not. Yep. <laughs> I'm like, where'd it land? It blew it up, but I, don't, I didn't see where any of it went. See, Champion is chill as all hell, apparently, because you set off explosions around him and he is largely unfazed. And that's impressive for a horse. It's like one of those war horses that's, that's all like gunshots, whatever. <laughs> My instincts are utterly repressed at this point. <laughs> Hello, human. I will now run you over. <laughs> is she running away? Is she like screaming? No. Nope. There's so many herbs. This is why I never want to ride my horse, because I'm like, but there's stuff to pick up everywhere. Should I talk to you? Sun rays of topaz. Uh? Oh, yikes, I'm sorry. I'm having such a beautiful daydream, I was completely zoned out. No, you weren't. I scared the crap out of you like a second ago. <laughs> Thinking about rupees and sapphires. Those two gems can be sold at really high prices. They're some of the best gems to sell for serious money. Uh. Sorry, I just get so carried away when it comes to gems. Okie dokie, bye. Tutorialization! Hello, tree. That's moving. Okay. You are a broccoli man. Hello. The Bonsai Broccoli is your new name. I don't know what it is, but that's it now. Wow, that's a high pitch. <laughs> that is such a high pitch compared to what I expected. Shalaka? You! You can see me? I, I can see you. Shalaza Shalaka! It's been a hundred years since anyone has been able to see me. I'm Hestu, and I need your help. Oh. Wow. Literally the first time anyone has ever talked to you, and you're like, I have demands upon your, your soul. <laughs> Those monsters over, over there stole my beloved maracas. I think they're still, uh, I think they're still there on the other side of those rocks. I can't use my powers without them. Shoko. So please, please get my maracas back from them. Shashika. Should just like to say that. All right, just make a noise. I guess, I guess they're all vaguely maraca-y sounds, like the, about percussion. Maybe he's so deprived of his maracas that he's just making vaguely maraca noises constantly in order to soothe his own soul. I see you. Oh, but I missed you. Rock salt and opal, you know, two things that commonly form together. That's how they work, sure. I mean, obviously I'm not just gonna walk straight into the middle of their camp, like face first. That would be silly. Whoa! Hi. There's a whole town over there. Alright, all the more reason to visit the local tower and head over there at some point. Hey there. No shrines nearby though? Not the moment. They got a waterfall overlooking them. Oh, they're, oh, they're, they're all blue. That's of moderate concern. But what if I do this? 
What was that? You should check it out. Oopsie. So cool. He. <laughs> that was less effective than I would hope. Hi there, guys. That was not what I meant to do. I tried to click to zoom. It's not in this game. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Whee! How you guys doing down there? Having fun? You having fun? What do you plan on doing about this whole scenario? Good plan. You really nailed it. Really proud of you guys. Oopsie. I'm sure you figured it out. Anytime now. Oh, look at him go. Roll it for me. There we go. And off the cliff you go. Yay. What was that? It was some kind of explosion. Maybe you should check it out. There we go. What's that spooky glowy thing over there? I don't know. Yep. Yeah. Maybe he won't notice. Ah! Bye! He was the last to die, so he deserves the killing blow. A Boko shield, I actually have space for shields. Nice being able to pick up stuff off the ground just at random. So used to always having it full. Yeah, he didn't live through that. Just, just going out on a limb here, which he, which he's probably out of now. Eh, limbs. It's funny because I killed them all. Hestus maracas. Hestus beloved maracas. He's been shaking them since he was two years old, which is apparently a long time ago because no one's seen him for a hundred years. Ha! Ah! Later. Later. I see you. I see you. <laughs> Makes sense. There's a there's a there's a settle there's a settlement over there, so there has to be a shrine nearby for the usual teleport. That makes sense. Neato. Anything else around here really? I don't really see like, for example, any hint of like a Korok seed nearby. All right, Hestu, I got your maracas. Show me your magic. And I'm not getting in a van. Shalak, shalakala, shalak. I feel like I'm saying made-up words from King's Quest now. Those are, those are my maracas. Please give them to me. Shalaka. But wait, there's something wrong with my maracas. The Korok seeds inside are gone. How am I supposed to dance now, Shoko? If I had just one Korok seed, I could sing, dance, and use my powers to help you. You see, I have the power of inventory expansion. So let me know if you find some Korok seeds. And so the bombshell is dropped. <laughs> 80 Korok seeds. <laughs> the children of the forest must have taken the Korok seeds from my beloved maracas. I never thought I'd be able... Uh, be the target of one of their pranks, Shoko. Uh -huh. But wait. Do you have a Korok seed? Uh -huh. You do! You got a Korok seed from one of the forest children. If you'll give me just one Korok seed, I'll make your inventory bigger in return. Uh -huh. Shalaka! So which stash do you want more slots in? Weapons, obviously. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah! Shaky Shaka! He's got f he's got the power of fireworks. <laughs> so Hetsu, just like I often do, actually sang the chime out loud. He's like da na 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 na. That's such a big deal. I have extra inventory slots, specifically weapons. Your weapon stash has been expanded, Ch Chalaka. I still smell cork seeds on you. Want me to expand your inventory again? Yes. Okay, I just need two Korok seeds. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. So I don't feel any particular uh, incentive to increase my shield or bow stashes because, like, I only- I, I so rarely break them. Whereas my weapon stashes, I'm like, oh, but I need, like, I want these elemental weapons for their utility, and I want, like, a- I want this weapon for its, like, its ability to blow rass around. Like, I, I- I have so many needs for specific weapons all the time that, like, having a big stash is super important. Oh, look at the time! I need to get back before Grandpa yells at me, Shoko! Sorry, I have to go, but I still need Korok seeds, so bring some to Korok Forest if you find any. So it's a prize of maracas complete. Okay. Do I know? Do I have the forest on my map already? Is it this one? No. No, it's all different forest. It's got to be out here in the area we haven't explored yet, right? It's probably not that one. Going back to Korok Forest. Korok Forest? Korok Forest! It should be somewhere north of here. Grandpa told me if you get lost, follow the Hylia River and continue north. That's what he said, and Grandpa's no liar. Do you want to talk some more? Who are you? Huh? I suppose I should tell you a little thing about myself. My name is Hestu, the most celebrated musician of Korok Forest. Shalakala la 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 shaka shaka. <laughs> I don't really feel like trying to uh, read all the syllables, so I'm just like, noises! <laughs> Korok seeds? Korok seeds come from Korok children. And they're a little... a little bit... Sorry, I blew out my voice singing. You want to... <laughs> just doesn't want to talk about them. Bye bye So you're gonna leave and go to Korok Forest. Is that Korok Forest? Ooh, look at that. Oh, look at that. That looks neat. Let's go get that. Getting sidetracked. Ooh. What's down there? Is that pieces of the of the guys I just killed? Well, that's morbid. <laughs> Those are the floating remains of everyone I just murdered, basically. Still going down the road. 